welcome guys and in today's video i am going to show you how i use firebase in my project so first of all you need firebase id go and make one then click add project then type your project name for example firebase test continue analytics yes select an account world account for firebase create project so this is how starting page is gonna look like or it might be different at your site so go to authentication sign in method and choose and enable the email password method and google sign in method then go to database create database and it will create the required Thing for you i am starting it in production mode you can also start in test mode so for more security go to rules and edit the rule just remove if false and replace it with if request.auth.uid is not equal to null publish and that's all same goes with storage if you want to use storage click on get started next done so go to project setting slide over to the bottom use android ipr package name subscribe to imag none you can use any name app nickname is optional you can type anything firebase test click on next click on next skip this step so this is what ID look like don't worry I am going to delete this project so the important thing you need is to add your keystore fingerprint which is in which should be in SH1 so you can find your fingerprint using CMD so you can find your keystore fingerprint by typing a command in command prompt uh, you can just copy paste and look your debug key store which is usually in your uh, username folder and which is usually in your username folder and just copy paste that fingerprint uh, it should be done you don't just show it to anyone and then download your google json file Find out two methods of using Firebase. So one is the REST API method, and the other one is using plugin. Uh, so the plugin method only works on mobile, while the REST API method can work on various platforms. So the first thing you need is to install Android build templates. I have already installed the template. Then you need to copy paste your downloaded Google Service JSON file, which you have downloaded from the Firebase, and you need to add assets folder and copy paste google firebase config json file which you can find in your downloaded plugin archive now you need to edit three files one is your build gradle file which you can edit in any text editor so you need to copy with this line in your build.gradle file in line number 19 don't add in between these two lines it won't really do up if you paste in between these lines and you need to copy paste apply plugin in the last line of your trader file uh, here again don't copy paste in between these two files then you need to copy paste one more line uh, which is this one here in line number 118 and you can find your public facing name in your project settings of firebase project and you need to edit two more files the one you can find in your newly created asset folder with uh, the google firebase config json you need to edit or delete the non-required things from your plugin like i won't going to use cloud messaging so i can just make it false or can altogether delete these I am not going to use add mob and remove the last comma. So this is all left from Firebase config JSON file. So the other file you will find it in your plugin folder. This is important. 
and delete the non required things like again I'm not going to use the messaging so I'm going to delete these two lines I'm not going to use unity ads I'm not going to use play service ads this is all remained from .gdf file now you can open your folder project and now you can add a global script to your project uh, in this global script you can initialize your firebase using this lines so the link to the required apis or the code is in the description and you can go you can copy paste from there uh, so to authenticate your sign in use this line and to receive the result you need to use this function note the data will return true or false a boolean uh, if it's true then it's successfully authenticated otherwise it's not and to store your dictionary in your database you can use this line this is the correction name is going to be anything you want and you can make your dictionary as required so the other lines of code are to load document and to set the document or to update the document document name is merged within the collection name so i created this pretty good scene because it will only run in mobile phone as this is the mobile phone plugin and i am using only this line uh, so let's check how it's gonna look like in firebase so this is how it's gonna look like in firebase it will automatically create an auto id and this is going to be your dictionary note that if you press this button again it will create another document with the same dictionary parameters if you want to update your document use this line of code instead thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe